Hey! Yeah, a long time no see, huh? Um, so I don't even know what my last video said, or what I'm gonna do, or any of that ruckus they're in. Um, but stuff has happened since then, and um, I know that much at least. Um, let's see. Where do I start? I don't even know where to start. Hey, get down, down, down! Um, so I have my rats free roaming at the moment because the vet said they need more exercise. Apparently Luigi is too fat. Um, oh, this, this is a lovely little creature here. This is Mario. If you guys remember right, um, I started out with two rats. Uh, Mario was the second one I got. He was, he was my little guy. This, this used to be little. Now, now I have him. Come here, Luigi. Oh, hey, hey, hey. This is Luigi. He's my big... Look at this rat. He's like a sausage. <laughs> he's, he's huge. But he's still adorable. And he's getting over cold right now. They were actually very sick. I had to take him to the vet and get antibiotics for them. But um, in comparison, I can actually get my hand totally around Mario. Here's Mario. Here's Luigi. See, Mario, Luigi. Not so good. And that they're very unhappy. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't sing on me. Like I said, they're getting over a cold. Now, I got a new one. Um, what happened was... Oh, there you are. Hey, baby. He's so tiny. I can even see him. My brother has snakes. Or a snake, brother. And they feed them baby rats. Well, his snake got full. And he was left with a girl and a boy. And I can't have the girl because I don't want babies. So, I was given the boy. This is Vincent. <laughs> Vincent has the cutest face in the entire world and his ears are epic. Huge giant ears. And if I hold him like this long enough, he'll actually begin to lick me. We don't know why. Um, but he's he's really tiny. Best I can tell from looking at pictures, he's about four months old now. And he's all he's all this beautiful gray color, except for his belly is white, white striped, and bless you. And <laughs> on the very back of his neck, you can't really see it, but right between his ears, he's got this brown stripe, sh straight across. Hi. Stop fighting me. You're not going to win. <sighs> he's also learning not to bite, which is kind of a big deal. He's not very good at not biting. But he's ultra cute, and I absolutely adore him. And he's so soft and squishy. The only problem I have with little Vincent here is Vincent brought a bacterial respiratory infection to the cage. Yes, you did. And I had to take my rats to the vet. Now, being because I have three of them, you can only take one with you at a time. So I took the sickest one. Oh, you're okay. The sickest one was Luigi. And Luigi was... he couldn't breathe. And it was so sad, and I felt so bad for him. I honestly thought he was going to die. And he had blood in his nose, and he was just a mess. So I took him to the vet. Um, I took him to a vet in Mono Valley, a Sunny Meat Adam Hospital. Amazing. They did such a good job with it. They loved him. They didn't. They weren't all grossed out by him because he's a rat. They really thought, hey, psst, down, down, get down. They really thought he was just the cutest thing ever, and they were just so amazed by how large he was. <laughs> but they took really good care of him. They loved on him. The vet picked him up, and just he just snuggled with her and. Um, all in all, the entire thing cost me $47, and that's with medication. It's totally awesome. And they gave me enough medication for all three of them, which is amazing, and that very gracious of them. They did not have to do that. So my rats are still sick, but they are not nearly as sick. Before, I couldn't do this with them because they couldn't breathe. Um, it would sound like there was a ping pong ball in my chest. It was just rattly and not, not good at all. Hi, Vincent. And Vincent is kind of nervous about exploring. He's not sure how to handle that whole exploring thing. And of course, Mario has always been the explorer. And he's currently trying to explore around me. Um, the other nifty feature about Vincent, by the way, while I have him, is look at the size of that foot. <laughs> he has the biggest back feet I have ever seen. They are huge. And he's got this really cute little tail that's all black, except for the very, very tip of it is pink. It's just ultra adorable. And... Get out of there, Mario. 
So I have them free roaming on the couch here. They've got holes and tunnels to climb through, and they're just they're having a good time. And so yes, when they saw Luigi, they told me that he needed to go to a vet because <laughs> because he was too fat, or I mean, to on a diet because he was too fat, and so he's on a diet and he needs more exercise. I didn't want to exercise him until they got over their cold though, because they really, I mean, they really couldn't breathe. So it was very unfortunate for them. But um, but they're, they're much better now. Um, I'm still scratched up all high hell because when I give them their medicine, I have to grab them like this, wrap them in a towel, and put a syringe in their mouth to give it to them. It's very hard to force feed medicine to something like this who really, really doesn't want it. And <laughs> they scratch really a lot, but they won't bite me, which is nice. Um, Vincent's still learning about not biting though. He doesn't quite know yet. Vincent thinks that if your finger's in front of him, it's free game and free food. But he's still young, so he doesn't know any better. And he grew up in a cage full of, like, 500 others, so, you know, he doesn't know any better. Hi. He was also in a cage with a snake at one point, so he's probably pretty ballsy. I don't know. <laughs> and, I mean, he's just, um, he's the sweetest little thing. He's such a cuddler for being, you know, so raised so weirdly. He, he like, actually likes to cuddle and be scratched and whatnot. And like I said, he likes me a lot. So I don't know why, but I'm being climbed on now. Um, <laughs> but I'm very glad they're feeling better. Um, I also got a new cage. It's not up yet, obviously. That's still their cage. Is it you? Um, but it's actually a dog kennel. It's not technically a rat cage. It's a dog kennel. And it's huge. Really huge. But before I can... Before I can, um, put them in it and set it up as a cage, I need to do a couple things first. I need to put in, um, wiring. Like... Not like electrical wiring, um, like screening, but not like weak window screening, like the kind of they sell in rules, like fencing rules, but really small, like half inch. Because right now my biggest rat could fit through the holes in the kennel. So I need to make it to where this guy can't fit through the holes in the kennel. And he's, I mean, he's, like I said, he's really tiny. The only reason I have to hold him with two hands is because he's really wiggly and he's kind of squirmy. He has grown actually since I got him you can believe it, when I first got him, he was really tiny. Like, uber tiny. So, and he's just the sweetest little thing. And right now he wants to go play, but... They, the, the boys, my big boys, took to him immediately. They were just like, a new friend! And they played with him, and they groomed him, and everything like that. And the problem was, was that rats are social animals. And little Vincent desperately wanted to groom Mario and Luigi. And because he's so small, he had to climb on their head to groom them, and they interpreted that as a dominance thing. So then they would fight. And uh, thankfully, the worst injury I've seen this far from them fighting is um, Vincent had a little scratch on his ear, and Luigi lost a toenail. He doesn't seem too bothered by it, but yeah, he lost a toenail. So, I mean, that's that. But, hi Mario. <laughs> So yeah, it's really, I'm really glad that they, they just took to him, like, right away. What are you doing? What's your life? <laughs> I'm not worried about him jumping off the back of the couch. Um, rats can't really see very well, so they don't usually jump to what they can't see. And thankfully I have a really light colored carpet, and the couch kind of blends in a little bit, so they ain't, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, the only time I've ever worried about it is be one of these pillows on the back of the couch like this. And Mario got on top of it and it fell and took him with it and he landed on it thankfully but that was really scary. And <laughs> poor so for him I'm sure but you know. And of course the couple nights like right after I'd gotten Vincent I was holding him. I was holding him and I was just just holding him and just petting him and loving on him and stuff and we were right by the cage and he tried to jump to get to the cage. Because he's, he's kind of a jumper. And then, um, oh, come on. But no, he, he tried to jump to get to the cage, and it didn't it didn't work out so good for him. He actually bounced off the table and landed in the toy box. 
so I felt so bad for him. I was like, oh my god, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. No, he, he was fine. He's kind of a little trooper. He seems to think that he's also going to get him all. But him, I worry about because he's so small. He just, like, he doesn't seem to know exactly how to be a rat. Um, okay, I've now talked for ten minutes about my rats. We're going to go with part two now. That doesn't involve rats. Well, it will because they'll still be here. But, you know, you get the idea. I'll be back.